It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Tell the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, Big. All right, group the rules in the locker room. Want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into race to even start. Think about strike. Beautiful kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. What a body So kick. both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. <laughs> Lee gets hit with a kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So 
They have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Punch is blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Keep your hands up. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. And he caught the kick. Nice. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Some nice back and forth action here. Again, they will clinch. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. It doesn't feel good to get kicked Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Lance with the right hand. Nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Ten seconds to go. Nice punch, man. All right, single call it time now. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. Let's go. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who's really charges out ahead in the second round. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, spinning back fist. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's a big strike right there. spinning kick, but he misses. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice right hand. Oh man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, he gets up here. 
here, but he is on wobbly legs. That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. They continue to exchange. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. His attempt there is blocked by the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He got him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Watch these to the body. Caught that kick there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fights. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Very nice leg kick there. Oh! Just unable to quite find that range. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. Oh! We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, 
there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And back to his feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact Whoa! one. He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Yeah, few things better in mixed martial arts than a finish by way of the elbow. It takes a lot of technique, a lot of repetitions in the gym, and you've got to have a lot of confidence in your skills to throw those elbows and try to maximize force over a short distance. Of course, when you land, it can be absolutely devastating, and in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.